sorry you had to witness that are you kidding me you don't have to apologize for cameron what if he's right what if i'm just lying to myself about franco what does your gut tell you same thing as my heart that he didn't kill anyone and that there's got to be a reason why he pled guilty okay. i just hate that he didn't trust me enough to tell me what's going on because if we don't have trust then what do we have okay so what's next you need to put 24 hour surveillance on Elizabeth at home when she's at work and all three of those boys everywhere they go. You know I can't do that. You're the commissioner. I think you can do that. Actually, on days like today, I wonder whose beloved pet I ran over in a former life to endure the karmic slap that is this job. Don't do that. Don't try and get me to feel sorry for you. I can't put a guard on Elizabeth because then I would have to tell my officers why they were assigned to protect her and her family. If I do that, then, then we the might... the real reason I'm here might lead to the killer and then all of this is for nothing. Elizabeth will be safe as long as you keep the killer focused on you. Oh. Well, there's a happy thought. Once you start taking credit for his crimes, he won't be able to resist making a move against you. I have no idea what this means for my marriage. Franco and I agreed. No more secrets. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, I'm sure you did. But honestly, how realistic is that? We all keep secrets, usually with the best of intentions. Look, I, I'm sure Frank had a good reason for not telling what he was doing. Mm -hmm. He better. Well, it sounds like you're not giving up on him. I just know, with everything in me, he's innocent. And I will continue to fight for him. Good for you. It's gonna be rough, not gonna yeah. lie. I'm ready. Yeah? Good. You know, before I go, I thought maybe uh, you might have actually left these behind. They're in the courtroom. Maybe not right now, but hopefully very soon. Let me ready to put these on. Are you okay? so sure that the killer isn't going to just be thrilled that I'm taking credit for his crimes. Maybe he's just going to get on with his life and leave me here to rot. That's not how this guy operates. He needs the spotlight. You pleading guilty, that's one thing. He can look at your incarceration as one of his accomplishments. But you taking credit for his achievements, his work, his ingenuity. His genius. Exactly. If you step into the spotlight that he's created, he's not going to like that one bit. Okay. So how do I steal a spotlight? By granting a tell-all interview.